here I will show you how to use our dust particles dispersion brush step. So we start with um, an extracted image, which you'll see here, our softball picture. What I'm going to do is duplicate that image. And we're going to come up and go under our filter, and we're going to use our liquify option. Now basically what we're going to do here is we're going to... Um, uh, we're going to sort of stretch out the image to sort of fill this whole background, and we're going to use that um, to, so that we can um, use it for our dispersion brush. Um, so what we're going to do is just go ahead and use your warp tool up here, uh, get a nice big brush, and just start stretching it out in the background. Um, yeah, it's going to look a little crazy, definitely distorted, um, but there, no worries on that. Uh, we really kind of want this just for the color, um, and that's where the brush set comes in, where we sort of fill it in using these colors afterwards. And through the power of time-lapse photography, we've gone ahead and filled in this entire area. So we're going to go ahead and click OK. We're going to sort of let that um, liquify result um, come back. And this is basically what we have. Now I'm going to hold down my Alt key while I add a layer mask and that will basically fill that with black. What we're going to do next is we're going to paint in this layer mask with a white brush so we're going to bring the particles in. This is where um, our particle brushes come in. So we're going to come up to our brush set and here's the ash dispersion brush set right here and let's start with the um, large particles. So let's come on over, back over here. Again, we're painting with white, and we're painting in the mask layer. And you can tell because it's got the four corners there. And let's make that nice and big. And then let's just start just touching on it little by little. And I think we will, um, you can make the dispersion particles anywhere you'd like, but I think I'll make it sort of on the back side of her here. You make it just a little bigger, a couple more. I think that looks pretty good right there. Okay, now the next brush, um, the next thing I want to do is maybe just, you know, let's get a little bit smaller here. And let's see if we can just make it a little, a little darker and close to her. Something like that's better. Now what we want to do is we sort of want to eliminate this line, um, the, the outside line of her. So let's come down here to um, the original image. Let's also put a mask on this. And we're going to paint with black in this layer. So we can hit X on our keyboard and that will um, toggle our foreground and background. That will give us black. Um, and then we're going to go ahead, again, we're going to paint with black in the softball picture um, mask and we want to paint out parts here and this is sort of just to eliminate that that line sort of, sort of blur the two and you want to paint just enough until you do that I think I'm going to leave part of that arm. Um, I don't want to obscure that too awful much here. Okay, I think that looks pretty decent. Um, and you know, the more I look at this, I think I want to add a few more particles maybe out in this area. So I'm going to come back into the black mask um, of our liquefied layer. And we still have our large particle brush selected here. I'm going to make the brush a little bit bigger. I'm just going to come out here. Oh, I'm painting with black. Okay, we want to paint with white because we want to paint this in. So I'm going to hit X on my keyboard. I'm going to toggle my back and forward and backward layers. Um, so now we're painting with white. And there we go. So we're painting in um, that liquefied area that we did. Okay. The last thing I want to do here 
is we don't we don't want sort of all this streakiness going on here. So now we're going to actually click on the liquefied layer, not the mask which we were just um, painting in, but now actually on the liquefied layer. Let's go up into the dispersion brushes and let's grab the dispersion mixer. And now you're going to let's make it a little bit bigger. And we're just going to sort of press and hold down over the images, over the um, areas, sorry, where you're seeing sort of a, a pattern and some streakiness. And what it'll do is it'll retain your colors, but it's going to get rid of any, any patterns, any streaks that you have in there. And make that a little bit more convincing. And then the last thing we can do, uh, if we come and sort of you know, zoom right in here, if there's any areas that you want to paint back in, um, you'll come back to um, the uh, mask layer of the liquefied layer, and the brush will grab our dispersion reveal brush, and we'll make that smaller. And let's just say we want to bring back in part of her leg here. Um, so we, we are going to paint with black if we want to paint that back in. So again, we want, we'll want we hit X on our keyboard and we'll toggle to black. And we'll sort of paint back in some parts here. Let's see if there's anything up here. I mean, maybe you don't want any on her face. We'll sort of do that. Um, and that's basically it. That's how you use the dispersion brushes. Mm -hmm.